Motor Show Time 1969. Line up from Leyland's. Ten new or restyled versions of familiar bestsellers. The GT label is now added to the 1300. Twin cards to give that GT feel. With go faster sidewinders and GT wheels, the mini range goes GT2 and gets another five inches on its bonnet. The 1275 GT restyled like its brothers. The car which won the London Sydney Marathon becomes a production model, the Hillman GT. High back seats, wide rim wheels, top speed, the ton. The GT engine of the Viva finds itself inside the Victor. This hybrid Vauxhall, furnished like a Ventura inside, is a potent revival of an earlier mark. At Earl's Court, we had our eye on the new Daimler Sovereign, but Sir Gerald Nabarro nabbed it first. Price of the 4.2 litre, just over 2,700. For only 570, the basic Hillman Imp is one of the cheapest cars on the market. And one of the best buys for the money is undoubtedly the new Triumph 2000 from 1,400 pounds. A bigger boot, a more powerful engine, and adjustable steering. Whatever sort of body you put on an AC, you've got something to look forward to. Finally, the Lotus Europa at under 1,700, Britain's first production car with its engine amidships. One of the safest, fast cars in the world. What looks good in a show has to go well on the road. One of the toughest tests of production cars takes place every year on the Mount Panorama circuit at Bathurst in New South Wales. 23 different makes and models in this year's 500 mile marathon. Falcons and Holdens confirm their good practice times by setting the pace. All the cars are carefully scrutineered to ensure they're standard off the peg machine. One of the minis showing minimal adhesion. A 1500 fails to learn the lesson. The panel beaters had quite a field day. Down in the pits, the Falcons are in trouble. A blowout leaves Harry Gaps feeling rather ragged around the edges. But he's not alone. Barry Seaton, winner three years ago. Colin Bond at the wheel of the leading Holden, setting a new lap record. The other Holdens are doing well too. Now the only danger is the Falcon driven by Bruce McPhee. But still in the lead, Bond pilots a careful course through the final bends as he heads for the chequered flag. 500 miles in just over six and a half hours. 